Wow, over 10 million social views and rising, this salt subject is getting spicy. Why is it spice? However, salt's not a spice, it's a condiment. As a trained geologist with over 25 years experience, I used analytical instruments to measure multiple different earth environments for heavy metals. So let's take a deeper look at the facts. Yes, the Himalayan mountains are in Pakistan. They're also in China, India, Afghanistan, and Bhutan. But pink Himalayan salt does not come from the majestic snow-capped peaks of the Himalayan mountains. Almost all Himalayan salt comes from the Kara salt mines, located next to the Punjab Plains in Pakistan. This salt mine is located approximately 945 feet above sea level. This is about the same elevation as Minneapolis, Minnesota. What marketers want you to believe is that Himalayan salt comes from high in the Himalayan mountains. I do, however, thank the good doctor for pointing out that I said Himalayan salt. I should have just said pink salt. Fun fact, of the four non-Himalayan pink salt brands analyzed in the Australian study, two of them were the cleanest of all salt brands tested and had no detectable levels of lead or mercury. The Peruvian pink salt not only exceeds Australian government standards, but ingesting just a pinch or two of this salt will exceed California Prop 65 safe intake levels for lead. Keep in mind, I was poisoned by heavy metals, and even though the current government standards may allow certain levels of heavy metals, I prefer not to ingest them. When you can avoid toxins, you do. Ultimately, the good doctor and I are aligned in that we both want to raise consumer awareness.